All right, race fans. Uh, I thought I'd do something a little different with this particular video. Um, I'm going to do a comparison between two sets that um, ostensibly are actually very similar in terms of layout, uh, having a Daytona style trioval, one on the uh, Tommy AFX, and then of course the, uh, the Auto World NASCAR Hendrix Motorsports set. Um, what prompted me to do this is once I reviewed the Auto World set, I was very impressed with the quality of a lot of the parts and it occurred to me since I had recently done the AFX Stalker Challenge that it might be a benefit to try to take a look at both of these sets together side by side and try to compare some of the strong and weak points of each set. Um, both sets generally use the, uh, the Tommy style push together track um, and you know, they've got you know, set controllers and set cars and set power supplies. So it, I, think, I think this will have some meaning. So let's just jump right into this. All right, the Tommy set, as you get it, uh, it opens up from the end and you slide this out and you have a uh, formed cardboard tray that holds all the items. And as I pointed out in the review video, uh, I thought it was very good compared to some of the other brands in the past that use just basically a paper, just a paper tray and they have different ways of uh, segregating everything. But this tends to keep everything nice and, and neat together. Um, you can see the different uh, areas where all this stuff is packed. Uh, and then of course when you're done with it, you can slide it back in. You go. The only issue here I see is once you have this thing put back together, it doesn't effectively close. There's no uh, closure system on it. So if you're just going to go throw it back up in the closet or something like that, uh, I guess that's okay, but you basically have the uh, end of the box open. All right, on the Auto World set, what's nice about it? Is their box comes with a carrying handle and as you can see that holds everything really really nice uh, from a storage standpoint uh, it opens right up and you have everything basically with dividers although they're cardboard dividers um, it does keep everything nice uh, would the molded carton be better I think it depends. This here uh, seems to work pretty good. One of the nice features I do like about it, they give you, and with the Auto World set, they give you plenty of uh, plastic bags to put all the stuff in, which is nice. Um, and the cars aren't packed in plastic bags like most sets do. They actually give you a clamshell to put the cars back in, so they're not rattling around and the deco doesn't get damaged. That's a really nice touch. So, after this, we'll get into some side-to-side -side comparisons of the actual track features themselves. First off, let's look at the power situation. The Auto World set comes with a standard uh, fixed voltage 16 volt power supply, uh, something that's relatively common with slot car sets over the ages. The Tommy set, they pack with their tri-power supply, which is a nice feature if you've got little kids. They have three settings on these, a beginner, an intermediate, and an expert. The voltage rating for beginners is about 8 volts. Uh, intermediate, I think, is 12, and then the expert is 22. And most of the cars, really on beginner and intermediate, you don't have to drive them very much because there's just not enough voltage. Uh, the controllers, the Auto World units have a plunger style. They generally fit an adult hand pretty well, and I guess kids and whatever won't have much of a problem with them. The nice thing about those, according to my measurements, it's a 40 ohm uh, controller, 
which generally runs most of your uh, more modern magnet cars. Um, the Tomy Mega G Plus is kind of an oddity now with their can motor that they have in them. It's uh, actually a fairly high ohm armature, probably about 15 ohms. And they changed from about an 80 ohm controller to this 120 ohm. Um, the pistol grip's fine if you've got little hands, but from an adult standpoint, it really is kind of kind of a toy feeling sort of controller. Um, and when you try to run, you know, modern cars like you know, lifelike T cars uh, or anything else like that, a Viper, Scale Auto, Wizard, just it's a very very high ohm unit, and it just runs pretty much like an on-off switch. What we what I found. With the Auto World controller, um, it really does run a variety of cars very well. So I think this right there is a big plus for users. You know, over the long term, uh, they may get if you bought that set, you would, um, you know, maybe have to replace the power supply if you wanted more power. But uh, controllers would certainly be um, okay. What I've seen recently since the Mega G Plus stuff came out with a 120. Ohm controllers, I field a lot of questions where people buy the set, they get it, they set it up, they're happy with the cars, they try to run something else, and the first complaint is that uh, the controllers really only act like an on-off switch. So, uh, is there a perfect set out there in that regard? No, I don't think so. If you mix or match different things out of something like this, you could, you could get there. Um, so, let's uh, move on to comparing track pieces. All right, the Tomy triable set comes with their standard 12-inch bank turns. As you can see, I've laid out three pieces of the Tomy and then three pieces of the Auto World. The Auto World actually is a brand new tooling, and it's more, I guess, probably close to an 18-inch radius, if I had to guess. Um, yeah, 18-inch bank turn. So it's really a nice, smooth, more realistic bank turn. In this particular set they go on ahead and deco the track pieces with white lines and it makes a very impressive layout when it's all put together. Uh, one of the things I noticed between the two sets when I put this track together uh, it was very frustrating to keep it together as I was running it out on the floor. The, uh, the Tomy pieces for whatever reason they tend to pull apart very very easily. They don't stick together very well and that was kind of frustrating. Um, I have to admit when I got the Auto World set and opened it up I was expecting the same thing but I was really surprised at how well these pieces fit together and resist pulling apart. And in closer inspection I think the difference is in the measurements in here on the mold that they actually probably uh, these are a little wider or these are a little tighter, however you want to look at it. And it puts a little more pressure in, in here holding this thing together. And it was very, very good. It was a far less frustrating um, in trying to get the thing laid out because on this here, if I bumped something in the process of stringing it all together, it would pull apart. And especially at the bank turn, uh, with this particular setup, the bank turn on this track is fairly severe, which you know may be good if it's supported right, but if you bump it, it tends to want to just come undone very, very easily. Uh, the Auto World is less severe, uh, and because the track pieces fit together tighter, um, those two combinations, I didn't have any issues with them wanting to kind of come apart here until I can get the whole set. Uh, put together. All right, another significant difference between the two sets is the Tomy set did not come with any track supports. Uh, I thought that was kind of odd here that you have a, a bank turn set and there was no bank turn supports in the box. I mean, this is a brand new box. I opened it. Um, if they were indeed supposed to come in it, I didn't get none. So what that did, since these bank turns are fairly high banked, 
Uh, they do need some support because the cars will tend to hammer the joints apart from centrifugal forces that come around. So I kept fighting that issue and holding that together. The Auto World, um, this set appears to have a lot of brand new tooling involved in it uh, in a lot of different ways. And they came up with a fairly ingenious track support system um, where you take this bank turn and snap this thing on and it holds it up and actually holds it up quite high. I found that really this leg wasn't exactly needed or this foot. Uh, after I set the track up and ran it a little bit I took the, uh, the support foot off and just left that down right there and it tended to let the track just lay right on the carpet flat and I actually thought it was maybe uh, more stable with the whole thing just laying down on the, on the, on the carpet like that. So, um, either way, it's a nice setup. They give you a lot of uh, bridge supports where you can use these things for a number of different things. As this bank, as this straight comes out of the bank turn, you can uh, jack these things up with the little caps in order to support the track at a, you know, an increasing or decreasing angle. That's a very, very good system there, I thought. I was very, very impressed with that. So by the time I got the whole thing set up and adjusted and with all the supports, um, it really ran good. I didn't have any problems with the joints beating apart as I was uh, running, the, running the track. Right, in terms of uh, track decoration, the AFX set does not give you any any track decorations maybe other than uh, the guardrails. Uh, one thing they did do is they got rid of that goofy orange guardrail and got a more realistic silver guardrail. Uh, Auto World went I think the extra step. They gave you some turn borders that simulate you know a true wall that you would have at a uh, you know NASCAR trioval track. Uh, they give you some flags and I didn't install them because I was kind of lazy in that regard, but there's a um, little post that they give you and those fit on top of the, the bridge supports and you can take and wrap the flags around it. So you can actually, you know, make a nice little uh, entertaining looking set, you know, if that's what you want, maybe for your kids or whatever, if that's just kind of what you like to do. But in, in, in terms, of, I think, of value, with uh, what you get with, with track decorations, the Auto World is a superior set, you know, including having all the track uh, you know, with white lines. It just, when you get the whole thing set up, it just looks, it really looks cool. Um, I can't say that about the, uh, the Tomy set because it has no supports or anything. It just literally kind of lies there. Um, so we'll move on to uh, looking at uh, another aspect of the track. Uh, one thing I noticed when I was running the Auto World set is no matter what cars I pulled out of my boxes, uh, they all tended to run really good. I didn't seem to have a problem with rail height uh, or the cars really not sticking too much. So I got out my rail measuring gauge and it's actually quite simple to do. and ran it along several pieces and noticed that the reading was very consistent between 10 and 15 thousandths um, and that really surprised me and I didn't find that same consistency on the Tomy. Uh, what I will say is the numbers that I get off the Tomy typically mirror most anything that I've ever seen and where you could have a variance you know, on any one rail from 10 to 20 thousandths in one, in one stick on one side. I didn't see anything like that on the Auto Roll set. So I can't say that any other set that they make is going to be like this. This particular set is. The rails are exceedingly consistent. And if that's the case, Auto Roll may have a distinct advantage now with hobbyists that want to 
put together a layout where they don't have to fight as much with rail height issues, uh, especially if all of the track now has new tooling as this would indicate. Um, it's molded very, very well and the rails seem to be put in very well. So that's a big plus. All right, one of the last things that I want to do is take a look at the cars themselves. Um, the Mega G cars, as they come out of the box on, the, on this set, the Tommy set, as well as the Auto World set, they actually run very well without any help. Um, they don't need extra traction magnets or aftermarket tires. They run really nice and really, really smooth. Uh, the bodies, it's the new NASCAR bodies for uh, 2017. They seem to be modeled very well. Uh, the deco, the quality of the deco, the actual application and the resolution is very good. This particular set is doesn't have any extra sponsorship. It's just Ford and Chevy. Uh, kind of a uh, generic scheme after that. A lot of the contingency logos are um, uh, fantasy names that uh, AFX has used in the past, uh, Van K, uh, Flow, and some other things. They do have a champion sticker and maybe a Hurst shifter sticker on there. But other than the primary Ford and Chevy logos, there's no other um, sponsorship on that. The Auto World cars, and here again, they do come in this nice clamshell. Uh, the Auto World cars are decoed very well with full sponsorship uh, right down to lettering on the tires. Uh, from a, an appearance standpoint, I would give the nod to the Auto World car in terms of its realistic look with the proportional wheels. Uh, that's indeed what the case with NASCAR. You don't, in the real life cars, the one-to-one -one cars, the front wheels aren't that proportionately small. But here again, they're having to work with one chassis. Um, but from a strictly eye candy standpoint, I think the nod goes to Auto World on this. They do use a separate piece of clear glass where the Tommy cars are just a standard molded body and then the windows are painted black. So the Auto World tends to look more realistic in that regard. Uh, the decals, the resolution is very good, the application is very good. Really, really impressed with it. Uh, in terms of the running of the chassis itself, I'd give the, the nod to the Tommy cars, although these Mega G Plus cars are a little on the slow side when compared to uh, your more professional race cars. Uh, they are put together well, and on a track set like this, they do run well. Now, you put them on a routed track, a custom track for that a lot of clubs run on, they need some help. You've got to generally put a better set of tires on them in that regard. Uh, the Auto World uses a Super 3 chassis and both of these uh, I would honestly say were lacking. Uh, primarily they were kind of slow and I went through and, and looked at them, pulled one of them completely apart, looked at the armature, measured the armature. The armature was like an 8 ohm armature uh, which isn't conducive to good speed. This particular chassis, I put in a 6 ohm armature in it, and it does run a lot better. Uh, the gear sets on both of them, the cars ran, but the molding or the installation was not very good, so I installed uh, uh, Viper gear sets in them, and they tended to run a lot better and a lot smoother. I didn't bother to change the, uh, the tires because I thought they ran pretty well. Uh, the rims are, seem to be pretty good. The rubber compound seems to be pretty good for this kind of application here again. On a routed track you may want to do something different to improve the performance, but here on the set tracks I thought it was pretty good. The front wheels actually are installed pretty good. I've seen over time a number of different brands, not you know anything here in particular, but I've seen other brands where the hubs don't get pressed on very straight and it causes a lot of noise and handling. Both these cars seem to have a 
a good straight hub set on the front. Um, the back set seemed to rotate pretty good. Just the gears were not that great, and the armature itself was lacking. So if those two things could be improved, um, they, they're nearly there. They really, really are. So overall, um, you know, from an appearance standpoint, I would have to give the Auto World car a nod. And then if it was strictly based on throwing a car down and running it, I would have to give the, uh, the Tommy car the nod. So to wrap up overall, on average, when you look at the complete package that you have here, I would have to give Auto World the, uh, the win on this for uh, a, lot of, um, a lot of things that they've done. Uh, the track itself is great, the support system is great, the track decorations are great, uh, the controllers are great. Uh, power supply would be nice if it had a little more voltage, possibly an adjustable set, and then you know if the chassis had a little better gear set, maybe a little better motor, the cars would run better. Um, but uh, I think when you take all that into consideration, the entire value of the package, I think the Auto World gets the win on that. Uh, the Tommy set falls down on the track not really wanting to stay together very well, not having any supports at all, which I think is a, a big mistake on their part to not package bank curve supports. Um, the power pack's great. The controller's not so good when you want to try to run something other than the set cars. So there you have it. You have a side-to-side -side comparison between Auto World and a Tommy Trioval set. Um, very, very pleased with the new Auto World product, and I really hope that they continue down this path to help the hobby have uh, some more competitive choices.